Welcome back to my channel, Learn with Sumit. And today's very interesting and awesome topic is going to be about image hook writing. Image hook writing is nothing but just hooking our image to a image. Hook means seeing closely, seeing properly, seeing without missing anything. So image hook writing is um, smell, hook means smell, taste, feel, and also see, touch, and keep. Like we're keeping our legs on the ground, right? So like hook means like um, there will be questions like this. I mean like this. Describe the picture in any parts of speech like nouns or anything but um like this what do you see in this picture this is a hook what you smell in this picture you can tell um, i can smell the um nice fog or the dirty fog like that you can um feel the um coldness there like that describing the picture now let's see some sentences about this picture they told to write two to three sentences about this image shown when these questions come imagine when you be on that picture then how it will be I can see there are many mountains or peaks, right? I can see a bunch of um, mountains right here, right here, like a bunch of them. I and see the sun just setting up like sunset, right? I can see the sun is in the west, like the sun sets in the west. Um, I'm going to try one more. Hmm. There is a dried land. Actually, that's not a land, friends. That's a ground. I mean, grass. I just told land because land, grass is in the land. So, land um, takes all of the grass. Stone, rocks, materials, and the matter. Describe this picture in any parts of speech. So let's choose one part of speech. So I would like to choose adjectives. Adjectives is the better one. When you get a chance to describe this picture in any parts of speech that your choice, you need to pick adjectives. Like, those were easy, like describing words of nouns or adjectives. So I would pick adjectives. And I'm going to write, there are many trees. Okay. Are there trees, guys? The sky is Pleasant. Okay, the pleasant is on the word. I mean, um, there is no adjective in this, so I'm just going to erase that sentence. There are um beautiful clouds. Okay. Beautiful. There's a 
this guy is pleasant. Um, and then, is it a mountain or volcano? <laughs> um, I'm going to write mountain. It's very nice. And big. Okay. And I would like to write one more sentence. The mountain. The mountain is old. We can look there, right, guys? There are many of dust and trees on the mountain, so we can know that that's older. What you can see in this image? Um, I can see a waterfall. Right there, guys. I can see. I mean, not waterfall. I think so. That's a fountain. But um, if you're not sure with something, just click a slash in just in English, not in math. Okay. Um, I can see the fog. Fog is um just like snow, but it gives you a um like like um i'll tell you an example when fire comes anywhere the fire bell will ring that gives you um a um like a um that tells you um the fire is somewhere and the smoke went to the fire bell well this is also like that when when the snowfall will be coming, that will give you a small, um, that will let you, the fog will let you know that snowfall will be in like some time, like six hours or seven hours. Well, it will be more than two hours. I studied this in my science lesson and I can see many trees. And um, I want you to notice, guys, in every sentence, every means every sentence, um, I wrote, I can see, I can see, I can see. Because the question is see, like when is here, I can hear, I can hear, I can hear. How many sentences you write, it depends on how many sentences you write. Um, yeah, and that's all for today, friends. If you like my video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Bye, friends.